NYPD's acting commissioner, Edward Caban, has officially been sworn in as the 46th police commissioner. He's now the city's first Latino police commissioner. Caban has served the department since 1991 and took over after Keyshawn Sewell resigned last month. Fox 5's Lisa Evers is live outside the NYPD's 40th precinct station house in the Bronx where Caban began his career. Lisa, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon, Robert. Well, unlike other position announcements, which the mayor usually makes at City Hall or at police headquarters, this time around, he brought it home right to the very precinct and the neighborhood where it all began for new police commissioner Edward Caban. Now, hundreds of people filled the area here in the streets in front of the 40th precinct on Alexander Avenue and 138th Street to witness city history in the making. A son of the Bronx, who began his law enforcement career on these very streets, became the first Latino to run the nation's largest police department. The crowd reflected the wide support Commissioner Caban has garnered over his more than three decades of service. A, div a diverse group of his neighbors, community, and political leaders, and police officers, both on duty and off, came out and cheered for him. Among the NYPD ranks, Caban, we're told, has a reputation as a hands-on leader who's realistic about what it takes to make New Yorkers feel safe at this critical time. Here's Mayor Adams. So as the mayor of the city of New York, I'm proud to appoint Edward Caban to be the next police commissioner of the New York City Police Department. My journey with the NYPD began over 32 years ago. A young Puerto Rican kid from Parkchester, standing on a footpost in the South Bronx, just like thousands who came before me and thousands who have come after me. Now, both the mayor and the poli new police commissioner praise former police commissioner Keyshawn Sewell for driving crime down and say now it's up to them to continue that trend and also deal with making New Yorkers feel safer again. As for the Latino community, Caban says he's living proof that if you do things the right way, you can rise to the top. And as for the hip hop community, Bronx native rapper Fat Joe came out supporting Caban, says he's known him for years and he is the right man for the job at this time. Reporting live from the South Bronx. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Robert, back to you. Lisa, thank you. A historic day, historic announcement made to great fanfare. We thank you for that.